Welcome to Stream, a trucktractortrailer.com production. My name is Zach Miller. I'm your host, and I'm honored to be joined by Greg Frary, who is the Chief Experience Officer at trucktractortrailer.com. Greg, welcome. Thanks for coming on today. Hey, it's, it's always a pleasure uh, to visit with you, Zach. You know, it's funny because... All the conversations you and I have about the various aspects of trucking, you know, we talk about the trucks, we talk about the parking, we talk about ELDs and regulations, and, and we could go on and on and on and on, and we will, you know, on different streams. But you know what we never talk about? The trailers. For, yeah. for, for whatever reason, the trailer component of trucking is not discussed. So it's, it's a very much uh, overlooked component. Of the su of supply chain, um, Zach, it truly is. It's it's the fastest growing area uh, in the repair and maintenance side of the business. Uh, trailer maintenance um, and repair um, uh, is the fastest growing segment of the industry. But it, it, it's like uh, they're just um, taken for granted, if you will. Oh, yeah. if I have a truck and I have a driver, then I'll have a trailer. Well, maybe and maybe not. You know, and it's, it's just as critical as anything else. So, yeah. And we, I mean, this is another lesson we learned during COVID, right? Because with, mm -hmm. um, as, as I understand it, there was an issue, especially around ports, where there was like a trailer was in one location, but it needed to be in a completely different location and they couldn't find a way to get it. It, it just like, just, just these basic trailer shortages were causing some of these supply chain issues. Yeah, there, there, there are... Um uh not necessarily their container shortages for sure right mm. which are which are put on chassis which are actually the trailer component of uh of, of port freight is the is the chassis that the containers sit upon um so there are absolutely uh right now shortages of containers and i don't believe that chassis are necessarily uh, plentiful either at the moment but somehow uh the industry is making it through um and you know and also, while they're doing that, they're they're uh, you know uh, again taking advantage of, or taking for granted vans and reefers uh, and dump body trailers and all these other uh, specialty makes tankers. Right, we're we're short on we're short on tanker drivers right now, um, and and it's contributing to the to the price of gasoline and diesel fuel going up because we can't find enough drivers to drive tankers. But you know, the, just as important to that is the is a tanker trailer. It, it, what if you had drivers but no tanker trailers? But you take the fuel in buckets? I don't. I don't think so. You, you gotta have a trailer, right? So, yeah. Incredible. Think, we don't think about them enough, and and again, we don't maintain them uh, well enough all the time. And there are uh, fleets out there, um, or, or just owners of trailers. Period. Who don't know where a good a good amount of the trailers are at some times, right? Just they don't know where they are. And it's getting better, right? Trailer tracking has come a long way. And a lot more fleets are jumping on board and they're doing the trailer tracking. They're putting the devices on and the devices have been developed battery operated, but they do have a long shelf life. They can be repaired easily or batteries replaced easily um, if that happens um, to their trailers. Um, and But you got to understand that's a major campaign. If you have a bunch of trailers that don't have the tracking devices on them now, you didn't order that way from the factory, let's say, mm -hmm. and then you're going to try to go equip 3,000 trailers that are working, right, that are here, that are there, that are, and you got to nail all those trailers down and get your tracking device put on. Very difficult undertaking. But more and more people are, are getting trailers out of the factory with the tracking devices on them, which makes life a whole lot easier. That whole situation is getting better, but still, even today, there are trailers out there owned by people who have no idea where they are. So, <laughs> Un unbelievable and they're they're uh you know they're in terms of asset value and what they mean to a to a fleet or an owner compared to a to a tractor um you know they they, they tend to depreciate uh quickly um and, and so you know to say that i don't know where my trailer is that's in today's market worth five thousand or ten thousand dollars isn't the same as i don't know where my tractor is that's worth fifty thousand right so yeah but but yeah, they're it's, it's, it's the most uh, just as important part of the supply chain as, as anything else. The driver, the truck, the, the tires. You know, it's 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 all it's all there. So yeah, they, they absolutely are. And if you're in the market for a new trailer, check out trucktractortrailer.com. We, yeah, we, we have 
we, truck tractor trailer.com right now uh, uh zach actually has an abundance of trailers that we've become very lucky and found some uh, unique sourcing and we have a wide variety of types of trailers as well as just counter trailers so anybody looking should absolutely check out truck tractor trailer.com yes sir perfect Guys, thanks for watching to watch, watching, listening or watching stream. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share. Uh, I'm going to stop before I get more tongue tied and we'll see you next time on stream.